Today, we get to head to the Great Wall of China, something I've really just thought about my entire life. How cool is it to see a wall that is thousands of years old and um, literally, you know, could be thousands and thousands of miles long. I mean, it's really cool. So we're gonna go about an hour and a half from here to the Great Wall, then we're heading back to Beijing to go see the Forbidden City, and then later tonight, I'm going to meet up with a bunch of animal people and some reptile people and see some really cool snakes, including Ming Shing Vipers. So it's going to be a really exciting day. We have a lot to do, so let's get going. At the Great Wall, uh, I didn't realize there's actually a bunch of different sections of walls. So we passed a wall that I actually would have loved to check out. It had a really steep climb to it. Uh, I really wanted to go this one. This one seems extremely busy with tons and tons of people. But uh, apparently this is like the most popular one and probably the most simple to check out. Um, regardless, we'll check this one out. And if uh, it's not cool, we'll uh, go check out the other one. But uh, uh, I have no idea what to expect but again it was a little bit weird to realize that there's a bunch of different places you can go to um, again this being shuttle to the actual wall so uh, like so many things here in China nothing is real simple it's uh, typically very overcomplicated <laughs> We went into the wrong door to get to the wall. So uh, now we're trying to figure out how to actually find the wall. It's that wall that, you know, it's like 5,000 miles long. Can't seem to find it. So that's where we're going, guys. So it is just awesome. I tell you what, this is definitely, I can see why this is one of the seven wonders of the world. But I don't know how the heck you even build something like that for thousands of miles, so many thousands of years ago. That's, that's pretty awesome. So the Great Wall has been around for all the way really started back in 700 BC and uh, went through a bunch of different dynasties and there's a bunch of different sections and uh, there's estimates of anywhere up to 5,500 miles of wall, which are actually about 4,000 miles of actual wall and then about 1,500 miles of natural barriers that they used to put incorporate into the wall. But there's actually been some studies that have said that the wall could be as much as 13,000 miles long. Nevertheless, it's just really wild to think that this wall has been here for literally thousands of years. Uh, it's crazy to think of the technology back then and how they could build on such steep environments like this. It's really, it's a once in a lifetime thing to be here for sure. certainly see a tremendous amount of really tired faces and I understand after walking all this way up here but it's been an amazing experience uh, it's time to walk all the way back get in the car and go check out some cool animals I'm gonna be meeting up with a whole bunch of Chinese reptile keepers and they're gonna show me some really cool stuff so let's get down this hill It's 
So I'm at this private collection here outside of Beijing that's got some really cool animals and we've been filming some snake bite stuff. So uh, make sure to keep your eyes and ears open for that because there's going to be some really cool stuff. You know, we highlighted these guys over here, which are amazing. Take a look at those. Those are Meng Sheng Vipers. So we highlighted those guys. We also highlighted these Gaboon Vipers, which are certainly one of my favorite snakes. And then we did uh, this guy over here too, this uh, Monocle Cobra. Uh, it's hard to really see it, but it's pretty cool. And uh, again, this is a pretty darn cool collection, all kinds of stuff. And he works with a bunch of colubrids and, and different things too. So you can see over here, this room is full of snake racks and of course an albino Burmese python right here. So uh, it's just cool to travel to other countries and get a chance to see uh, other cool snakes like this. So we'll pull out a few more snakes to show you. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, let me show you this guy right here first. Uh, nope, not there. Maybe here. Nope, not there. Uh, well, these guys are corn snakes. But uh, I'll show you guys a few other snakes as I'm going here. I've got to find them. There are some gray banded king snakes that are absolutely knock my socks off. So uh, again, we'll pull out a full s few snakes for you guys for the vlog and keep an eye out for snake bites because we're going to shoot the crap out of this place. So, But it's been a good time. Hey guys, these are the gray bands I was talking to you guys about here earlier. Look at how gorgeous those things are, huh? And again, you know, a lot of my friends go out in West Texas and catch these every year. And it's kind of this big herper trip where you go out there and probably drink a lot of beer. You stay up all night catching snakes and then you sleep all day. So uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, but this, these are the animals right here. So we're going to shoot a little snake bites piece on this one. And, uh, got to meet a whole bunch of really cool animals. And see how it's done here in China. So uh, we're actually heading now to go meet up with a bunch of people that uh, just wanted to meet me before I leave. So uh, I really don't know what to expect to be totally honest with you, but uh, we're going to some place where there's supposedly gonna be a bunch of reptile people that just wanna come and say hi to me. So uh, I don't know, we'll see what that's all about. But uh, either way, I'm sure it'll be a good time. 